Greetings students. Uh, welcome to the second part of mental math, specifically with fractions. People tend to wonder why you need to deal with fractions and we talked about that in a previous video. But here we're just gonna do some mental math with some of these fractions. For example, when you have something like four and three fourths times six, people tend to just multiply the numbers together and then ignore that fraction. But remember four and three fourths is short for four plus three fourths and then you multiply that times the six. Now, if you check out the previous video I've done on the distributive property, you can multiply the six times the four. You can also multiply the six times the three fourths. So, and with some practice, you can simplify some fractions and add your answers together. So with this example, four and three fourths times six, we multiply the six times four to get a 24, and we could just set that aside. Now the tricky part is six times three fourths. So six times three fourths basically means six divided by four and then multiply that times three. Or if you wanted to multiply first, six times three and then divide that by four. Whatever order you do that is fine. It doesn't matter, you'll still get the same answer. We do six divided by four, we can simplify that as three over two. And three over two is just one and a half. And one and a half times three is four and a half. And now we add the four and a half plus the 24 to get 28 and a half. So let's try this example, two and five, six times four. We, we make sure to multiply the two and the five, six by four. So two times four is eight. So we put that off to the side. Now five, six times four, I can switch the four and five around. So it's like saying four over six times five, and I can reduce the four over six by two to make that into a two thirds. So two over three times five is 10 over three. And then you just gotta think to yourself, how many threes go into 10? Well, three, six, nine. So three of them, and you'll have one left over because 10 minus one is nine. So now with the eight that we have set aside, we do eight plus three is 11. The answer is 11 and one over three. I know it's kind of tough to do that, but once you get some practice, you get used to switching things around and simplifying, but make sure you take time to practice. There's not much you're doing right now anyway, so you might as well just go ahead and do that. So I hope you enjoyed that quick video on multiplying with fractions. I'll have a few uh, problems on Google Sheets for you guys, for my students to work on. For the rest of you guys, try to make up some problems on your own. Maybe I'll put a few more in the description down below. Uh, check out some of these other videos over here. I hope you'll enjoy them and learn lots of stuff. Make sure to share, like, and subscribe, and always remember to keep on mathing.